Hi Aquarius, welcome to your January 2019 love reading for sun, moon and rising signs. I have all my other videos on my channel if you'd like to check those out and let's see what's happening for you for the month of January in 2019. It's very interesting. This nine of um, wands has been coming out in just about every single reading. There's always like one or two cards that seem to come out in the readings consecutively and it is this one. The Nine of Wands to me is all about, it's a little bit about waiting, but it's also about potential and progress, which I really, really like. So in terms of love, I do see that there is potential and progress for love. I do see specifically potential for something committed and stable. Now, if you're not in a situation where it's very stable, committed, there is potential, it can be. But I do specifically see that if you are waiting for someone who doesn't seem like they want to commit or they don't want a relationship, then I don't know if this reading is necessarily going to be for you because I see specifically that this is going to be for those that are naturally going to lead into commitment. If you're having to have a conversation with someone about why they don't want a relationship or if that person says they don't want a relationship to you, I do think that sometimes you have to take that at, at face value because, you know, these readings can't resonate with every single person, every single situation. So that's why I have to say that, is that I do feel like this is a, this is for that group of people where it just naturally goes into a relationship. Because I do feel like it's one of those more natural sort of um, situations, you know, where it just blooms. There's really no confusion. You don't feel like you have to think too much about, do they like me? Do they do they not? Um, this is one of those situations where you don't really have to question it too much. Let's see what else comes out for Aquarius. Okay. A lot of cards just flipped over, but way, way, way too many cards flipped over. I like it when they just fly out like that. <laughs> exactly like that. You have the world here. So there is some form of a completion that's going to happen. And again, it's just going to feel very, very natural. Um, it's going to feel like there's a circle that is just, it's just a completion. It's a completion that's going to ha happen very naturally, a karmic cycle that closes out. Um, and you will feel very, very optimistic and happy about it is just how I felt from the very beginning. The King of Swords is the kind of energy that you, you know, you may attract. Someone who has the energy that is between the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords, I do feel like this really does relate to the other person, someone very grounded and stable and humble and very loving, loyal and earthy. Doesn't have to be an earth sign, but someone that has those qualities and then also has the qualities of a King of Swords, which is a lot of communication can be very to the point, doesn't play too many games, is very, can be a little bit blunt, but is very, very communicative, very, very much in their power and can be quite business savvy as well. So let's see what else we have for Aquarius. So in general, I do see that the person that is potentially going to be coming towards you is going to be someone very much, um, you know, very much in power. Now, I do feel like this person could offer you something, but you may take a little bit more time to kind of think and weigh out whether you want to or whether you don't. This goes along with this Nine of Wands card. The Nine of Wands card here, for me personally, for your reading, it kind of represents um, potential and progress. Um, the potential of kind of, a, it's, it's a little bit of a weight, not too much of a weight, but it's it's sort of um, grabbing onto this wand and sort of weighing out the pros and cons. That's how I feel about it. Again, here, you're sitting here and you're trying to weigh out and analyze and think. And like, for example, you're watching this reading, you've probably come to see what may be happening. And so you are trying to make as much of a healthy decision as possible by thinking things out. And so this is you essentially thinking things out, um, thinking things out whether you do want to progress with this person. Um, and again, the same here. So that's what these two cards are representing. This is you doing lots of thinking as to whether you want to continue with this person. We 
we have here the Three of Swords. Now, the reason why I feel like these two cards in particular have come out is because I feel like you feel you may get hurt. This is not a card of you necessarily getting hurt. This is about you thinking the worst case scenario, which is why these two cards have come out. This is about you thinking, weighing out all the pros and cons, whether you want to proceed or not. There is potential, there is progress, and I've mentioned all of that progress and potential with these two cards here, the king and the queen and the world. But this is about you protecting yourself, protecting your heart, guarding yourself to ensure that this doesn't ha happen, which is you constantly thinking that this is going to happen. In your subconscious mind, I feel like this is what is going to happen, and that's what I was trying to explain to you earlier as well. Now, you also have the Page of Wands. I feel like this person here is just, they're going to keep wanting to come towards you. They are going to keep sending you messages. They are you know, they're, they're someone that's just wanting to chase you and want your love and attract, um, love and affection. You, on the other hand, you're doing a lot of thinking during this time, like, why does this person keep chasing me? Are they just going to leave me after a certain amount of time? I feel like they won't. I feel like if you do decide to go forward with this person, it may be a little rocky for you in the beginning because you don't want to get hurt. I do, have a, however, think that with time it will get easier because this person is moving, even though it is difficult for them, which means they are progressing forward into this relationship with them. I do see if you choose to be with them, you're going to be balanced quite emotionally and you are going to feel quite powerful within yourself and with this person as well. And emotionally, you're going to be very, very well balanced. So I do feel like you may be apprehensive of getting into a relationship with this particular person just because you want to guard yourself you're going to be doing a lot of reflecting a lot of thinking but in the end I do see that you you will try to give this a go because this person is going to keep chasing you and wanting to know more about you and um, I do see that it can be a good idea to progress with them remember that I did mention that this relationship must happen naturally if you feel like you're forcing yourself it's not natural. There's a big difference here between, you know, someone chasing you and you doing reflecting. Then there is of you chasing someone else and you forcing a relationship to happen or them forcing it to happen to you. This person is not forcing you to be with them, but they are chasing you to an extent where they're showing you a lot of interest. I hope that made sense. I hope that didn't confuse anyone. If it did confuse you, let me know in the comment section below. Um, if you have any other questions, thoughts, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye, Aquarius.